here today we're gonna to talk about how to use social media for your photo booth rental business and when I say use it what videos to post how to post and why you should be doing this because it it's all gonna to lead to you making more money right everything I explain in this video or any video I ever make is literally to help you guys make more money whether that's a tutorial or tactics strategy but this one's super important because I think this one is undervalued and not really done by a lot of photo booth operators right and it's free so that's really important it's free but it does take time and it does take a lot of uncomfortableness right and I'm talking about being on camera and you know if you're not a person that doesn't like being on camera and you refuse to do it, then just skip this video. But if it's something that you feel like you can do and you're willing to do, watch this video because it will be beneficial, right? So what social media platforms am I talking about? I'm talking about all of them, right? I'm talking Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, all of them. You should be posting everywhere, but let's just stick with videos. The great thing about, you know, TikTok, YouTube and Instagram is you can literally shoot one video and post pretty much everywhere. You know, I know Instagram has a, um, a real limit of 60 seconds, but you can always re-edit things and make it quick. But one, one thing I think is really important is when you're at an event, right? Especially if you're at a venue, you guys have heard me talk about this. You need to bust your phone out do a selfie and film a video something like this right and i'll tell you why this is important so i'm gonna just i'm gonna role play here i'm gonna act like i'm you guys and this is something you have to do right you're at a venue you're, you're set up this is before an event hey how's it going drew here with rustic charm booth so today i am at the ritz carlton down in long beach and we're here set up a little bit early we have our photo booth set up right here in this corner you know this this venue is amazing the photo booth is perfect here i highly recommend the photo booth to be placed right here because out of all the other spaces this one right here will produce the best photos and just kind of the whole traffic aspect of it. It's amazing uh, just having it right here. So let's go ahead and use the photo booth really quick. Then I would proceed. You guys, I'd use the booth. I would show that it takes a photo and you can send it via email or text. If we're doing a digital event or if it's a print, we'll just show the print. Why is this video important and why you should post it specifically for YouTube and TikTok and um, Instagram is because there are plenty of people out there that will literally search um, venues by using a hashtag and looking up that venue. So you make that video, you post it on YouTube, use the hashtag Ritz Carlton Long Beach. Use everything you can think of that someone may type up to look up that venue because there are plenty of brides and grooms that will use social media to look up a place where they want to get married or a mom looking for a venue for a quinceanera, right? We get bookings because of this. There's literally one video my wife made that's on, um, I believe it's on YouTube, um, where we've probably gone about eight to 10 events from that video. And how do I know it's, oh, you guys, it's because I, I ask every customer how they find out about us. And you know, I, I always make a note of when it's something from social media. So that's one thing you guys have to be doing. Another thing you guys need to be filming, and this one is very, really difficult to do. It's customer testimonials, right? I'm talking about if you're at your uh, an event and you have an opportunity to, to film your, uh, your customer, literally bust your camera out. Hey, uh, Drew here, you guys, I just wanted to get a quick little review um we have tito here tito is going to talk up you know tito can you tell everyone about you know the night how is everyone like the photo booth then your customer will be like oh i love the photo booth that's great sometimes you may have to guide them and ask them a few more questions but the last question should be you know do you recommend our service and then they're gonna say yes right so in that testimonial make sure you're saying like we're here uh tito hired us for his daughter's sweet 16 party Tito, what do you think about the photo booth? Oh, I love it, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end, would you recommend it? This video is great as, you know, for one, it's good to have different type of content on your channel, whether it's YouTube or TikTok, but it's also a great video to have to send potential customers, right? So if someone's considering you and they're like, hey, I'm not sure, I'm getting a couple quotes, you could send them this video. It may kind of put them at ease and they may be like, oh, okay, well, this person, this company here, this guy Drew just sent me a video and that guy Tito seemed to love the photo booth and I guess, you know, this may be a, a company I should consider. So that's something that's really positive. And one thing I hate seeing on social media is when you, everyone does it and I'm guilty of it, I've done it in the past, is people just getting a, a simple shot of their photo booth set up, right? The, the traditional, here's my photo booth. Here's my props. Here's my backdrop. You guys, that's so boring. No one wants to see that. Nobody, it's, it, it does nothing, right? People wanna watch a video where they get to see you. They wanna see 
the venue. They want to see test photos. It's just so boring. I hate to be that person. And I get it. You're, you know, the setup looks great. The deluxe booth looks amazing right here with the backdrop, but it's so boring. You guys don't do that. I mean, once in a while, it's fine. But if your content is just strictly all of that, it doesn't tell me anything about your business. That video, I, I could literally see, go to your website and see a photo, but like, okay, that's it. There's the equipment. But if that's all you're doing, you guys, you're wasting your time. Get creative, get a bunch of different content, do a vlog, do a freaking vlog, show yourself prepping getting to an event setting up you know all of that like it takes time but it's free you know like i would absolutely love to see a company make a vlog right something that i'm considered about hiring seeing the process seeing them have a checklist seeing them prepping their equipment seeing them clean their gear seeing them practice like just it's endless you guys and it's free that's what i have to i can't stress enough it's free to do this stuff so you know um that's pretty much it when it comes to the type of content i think is really valuable um if i did leave something out and it's something you guys have heard me say before i am not going to say it i'm going to let someone in the comments write what i am missing in this video and i will send you something if you can get that correct so i'll leave that in the comment section first person to do it and if you guys are interested in starting your own photo booth rental company we have a company called photo booth 101 and you can go to www.photobooth101.com we sell ipad photo booth shelves we have backdrops props we sell photo booth printers paper media we have it all you guys and also we include sample contracts for you to get your customers uh, booking forms template forms we have a community online private group chat with about a hundred photo booth entrepreneurs. Great place to network, place to get leads, place, places to give leads. We have um, just a great community there. So if you are interested, go to photobooth101.com. And again, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Take care.